I'm going to have Steve Edwards. Thank you, Wink. Yeah, I remember doing the pilot for the show Scrabble. And a couple of things stand out about it. One is that, yeah, I think it was the only pilot for the show Scrabble that was unsuccessful. And maybe I was part of the reason uh, that did not get on the air. Another thing that I remember is that at NATB, NATB is that big convention where people gather to sell shows, syndicated shows, to stations and station groups, and you go there and present the show, and you talk to the buyers, and you try to get it uh, on other stations. Uh, that when I went, it was just at the time of the Iraq War, when at that moment, it was transferring from Operation Desert Shield to Operation Desert Storm. In other words, like firing ammunition into Iraq to actually putting boots on the ground. It was a very big historic time. And at the same time, I was hosting a three hour radio show where we talked all about that and only about that and a television show as well. And I had to leave those shows to go to New Orleans, not a bad thing to do, but to go to New Orleans to try to sell the Scrabble show. What I also remember was that the year that I had the game show there was the year of the talk show. So here I was, uh, a talk show host with a game show, and I ran into a lot of my friends there who were game show hosts who had talk shows. And some of them got on the air, some of them stayed on uh, for a long period of time after that. Uh, our Scrabble uh, didn't. Uh, what I also remember about the experience of doing the show itself, of doing the pilot, is that the dirty little secret is it's not as easy as it looks. It looks really easy because people like Wink are artists at this. But the rest of us are trying. You know, we're trying. It's, it's not you don't do it just falling out of bed. There's a lot to learn. And the pilot itself is kind of a learning experience. And when I did the pilot, if you watch the pilot, think of what's going on inside my head. A lot of what's going on is where do I turn? What's next? If she's right, do I turn here? Do I push a button? Do I look down? When do I go to the break? All of this is going on because it's all new. You know, I guess if you do it for months and months and months, it becomes second nature, but not the pilot itself. Well, in any event, enough uh, me talking, and now uh, you can see me hosting Scrabble. A pilot that was not successful. It's good production. The host, on a scale of 10, give him about 3.4. No false modesty. Okay, I give you the pilot for Scrabble. Enjoy. Hey, Madge, let's go for a walk. I hate to walk. My feet hurt. Well, then why don't I go rent a movie? We rented a movie last night. A uh, friendly game of checkers? Checkers is for children. Checkers is for children. Mm -hmm. Okay, then what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Let's play Scrabble. And now, here's the host of Scrabble, Steve Edwards. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everybody's favorite game. Our players are all revved up. They are ready to go, so let's meet them. She's a travel writer. He's a DJ for private parties. From Youngstown, Ohio, it's Davis Alexander. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, it's Craig Udit. Welcome, Davis. Welcome, Craig. Davis, I am welcoming you. We know you. We're already into you for $4,500 as our returning champion. Uh, it is mentioned that you are a travel writer. It says here that uh, you were in five of the seven continents last month. That's right. Well, I sort of cheated a little. The last stop on that particular trip was Istanbul. Mm -hmm. And Istanbul spans Europe and Asia. So I did two continents in one day. So you, you, you stood over the river that divides <laughs> right. it? Okay. Something like that. Now, I, Craig is not impressed <laughs> because you don't know this about him, but you bicycled across the United States of America. Yes, I conquered this, this continent uh, on a bicycle. 98 days it took me. I camped out every night and uh, saw the small towns of this country all across America. What did you learn? Well, you learn that everyone's pretty much the same regardless of where you go. And you learn that there's cleaner air in some places, and some places are speedier than others. And you learn that your legs hurt a heck of a lot after 98 days. But at least you get in great shape yeah. to play Scrabble. That's right. So let us play Scrabble. We play until one of our three players gets three words right. 
Then that player goes on to our Scrabble Sprint and maybe a chance at the bonus today, which is worth $8,000. Let us take a look at the board right now as we set up for our first game. Players in this first game, the category is their history. That means that all clues in the crossword will have something to do with their history. Here is your first word. We are building on the letter A. Eight letters. The clue is he really could put a smile on a lady's face. He really could put a smile on a lady's face. We have scrambled the rest of the letters in that word. We've added three stoppers. Those are letters that don't belong in the word at all. And just so you can't tell which is which, we have numbered them all. Craig, since you are the challenger and you have bicycled across America, you go first. Again, the clue is he could really put a smile on a lady's face. Take a guess or pick two numbers. Okay, let's pick a couple of numbers and get rolling here. Four and eight, please. Four and eight. The four gets you an E. The eight gets you a P. Place that P, please. <laughs> Davis, let's go over to you. He could really put a smile on a lady's face. I'd like lucky number five, please. Find out if it's lucky. E and O now. I'll take the O, please. And the E. He could really put a smile on a lady's face. And I'll take number two and number ten. M and an N. I'll take the N, please. You could really put a smile on a lady's face. Oh, I think the M is a stopper. Don't ask me. L Leonardo? Leonardo could really put a smile on a lady's face. Yes. Yes, the M was a stopper. <laughs> The first player to score three points wins the match and goes on to the Scrabble Sprint. Okay, the category continues to be They Are History. We are building on the letter O in Leonardo. Six letters. The clue is she led a tax revolt. She led a tax revolt. Craig, let's go over to you. Okie doke. Let's choose the seven and the two. Seven and two. D and a G. Place that G, please. Good placement. She led a tax revolt. And how about the D? How about the D? She led a tax revolt. Davis knows what it is. Ooh, she Davis knows what it is, and there are three stoppers out, so I'm going to go for it. Go for it. She led a tax revolt. Godiva. Godiva led. <laughs> Did you know? I don't know if everybody knows this, that uh, when she rode through town on the horse with just her hair, she was uh, protesting her husband's taxes. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Davis, you knew that? Well, I didn't, but it sounded familiar. Oh, it sounds good to you, so we'll go with you. All right, we are tied at one all. Uh, we are building on the letter A in Godiva. Seven letters. The clue is, he had a germ of an idea. He had a germ of an idea. Davis? I'll take number one and number nine. U, T. He had a germ of an idea. I'll take the T, please. T. Oh, no. Okay, you've landed on a blue square. Get it right now, and it's worth an extra $500. It's too early. I wish I could. I'll take the U, please. He had a germ of an idea. I'll try the four and the seven, please. C and an E. I'll try the C, please. There's your stopper. Let's go over to Craig. He had a germ of an idea. Ooh, I don't know it, so let's put that five in there. E or an E? Take an E, Craig. I'll take the E, Steve. He had a germ of an idea. Pasteur. Oh. Pasteur. Yes. Yes. Pasteur. <laughs> two to one. It was like a moment of revelation for you, yes. wasn't it? All right, you heard the bell. That means we are running short of time. We have to play the rest of this game in speed words. So if you will, Davis and Craig, put your hands on your buzzers. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. But of course, we don't give you the last letter. All right, we are building on letter R in Pasteur. Five letters. The clue is, he heard a lot of people say, I have a dream. He heard a lot of people say, I have a dream. Okay, hands on the buzzers. Ready, go. Davis? Freud? Freud! Heard a lot of people say, I have a dream. Sigmund Freud. We are tied at two and two. This next one is for the game. We are still in speed word. Keep your hands on your buzzers, and this is it. Building on the letter D in Freud, seven letters. The clue is a good night's work. A good night's work. Ready, go. A good night's work. 
Crusade. Crusade. The Crusaders. That was a tough one. Did you have an inkling at all on uh, Crusader? About the exact same time Craig did. Oh, you were well matched. He obviously got the plunger first. We thank you for playing, Davis. Uh, we do have some nice parting gifts for you, and you also part with the $4,500 you won as returning check. That's Thanks great a lot, to me. Davis. Okay, Craig. The pressure is on you now because not only have you won $500 for winning this game, when we come back in a moment, we're going to play Scrabble Sprint. And then if you do okay at that, you have a shot at $8,000. Okay. Up for it? Up for it. We are, too. We'll be back in just a moment with more Scrabble. Yes. Now, Craig, you're going to be the first to play today's words. Uh, then the winner of the next crossword game will come right up here and try to beat the time you're going to set. The winner then goes on to the bonus, which today is worth $8,000, which is a nice chunk of money. You can bicycle all the way back to the East Coast with that. Uh, you're going to play four words. As soon as you know a word, we want you to hit the plunger. That'll stop the clock. Remember, all the letters you see are good. There are no stoppers in this round. Okay, your first word has five letters. The clue, a wall covering. A wall covering. Ready? Go. R. L. A wall covering. U. Mural. Mural is correct. Five and a half seconds. Good start. Second word. Seven letters. They're often secret. They're often secret. Ready? Go. S. B, L, T. They're often secret. Ballots! Ballots is correct. 15 seconds. Nice going so far. Third word, Greg. Eight letters. A horse of a different color. A horse of a different color. Ready? Go. N. A horse of a different color. P, M. A horse of a different color. A. L. Palomino. Palomino is correct. Only two and a half seconds. You are flying. You are flying. This is the last one. Your chance to set the time, which may or may not get you to the bonus round. Nine letters. You pay a price for it. You pay a price for it. Ready? Go. S. O. You pay a price for it. A. S. M. You pay a price for it. Admission. Admission is correct. Thirty-two and four ten seconds. Not the head. Okay, thirty-two and four ten seconds. If that time stands up, Craig, you will be today's winner. You'll come back to play that bonus sprint. We don't know if it will. We're going to find out when we come back with some more of Scrabble. We'll be right back. No, Craig, you've already been through the Scrabble sprint with him. I thought you did very well. You were a little well, but you, you are very demanding on yourself. We're going to find out right now who it is who's going to challenge you and go against you a little bit later on, okay? okay no. We have our new players. Let's meet them. She's a fashion coordinator. He's a sales manager. From Oak Park, Illinois, it's Diana Karanikas. And from Detroit, Michigan, it's Scott Cooper. The two of you have much in common. First of all, you're from uh, Chicago and Detroit, close by each other on the Great Lakes. Uh, Diana, you are a high-risk sport enthusiast. Yes, I sure am. You like to go out there and risk it, right? That's right. What kind of things do you like to do? Uh, skydiving, rock climbing. Scott says here, you love what? Hang, hang gliding. Hang gliding. 
Got interested in it in 1978 up at Grouse Mountain in Vancouver. Wow, so the two of you like to risk and you like to go out there. You are perfect for playing Scrabble. Who won the toss backstage? <laughs> I did. All right, Diana, let's go to the board. The category is Wild Wild West. We are building on the letter T, eight letters. The clue is Calamity Jane performed this service for General Custer and his troops. Calamity Jane performed this service <laughs> For General Custer and his troops, Ooh. Diana. All okay. right, I'll take the two and the nine. Two and the nine, an O and a U. Place that O. Place it. All Calamity right. Jane performed the service for General Custer and his troops. Heavens, not yet. Place the U. Uh, I'll need two more letters, the two more. four and the ten. The G and the S. Try the G. Okay, try the Jane S. Perform the service for General Custer and his troops. All right, there is the S. You are on the blue. If you can get this right now, it's an extra five hundred dollars for being on the blue square. Calamity Jane performed the service for General Custer and his troops. Scouting. Scouting. <laughs> Scouting. <laughs> Two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Say that again. Scouting. Scouting. Okay. All right, you are up uh, one to nothing, which means we go over to you, Scott. The category remains the wild, wild west. We are building on the letter O in scouting. Five letters. The clue is most people are in it for big bucks. Most people are in it for the big bucks. Scott. All right, let me have the two and the four, please. Two and the four, an H and an O. Let's put the O up. Hmm, let's try the H. There's a stop for Diana. Most people are in it for the big bucks. All right, I need two letters. The uh, two, uh, the three and the six. I think we understood that. You get an R and a D. Ah, try the R. Most people are in it for the big bucks. Let's try the D. Oh. Oh. Pick it up right now, Diana. Rodeo. Rodeo is it. Most people are in it for the big bucks. Scott, you like high risk sports, right? I'm in deep You're down trouble. two to nothing. You're in deep trouble. This is a hang glide for you. You gotta, you gotta get going right here. We are building on the letter O in rodeo. Nine letters. The clue is part of it was okay. Part of it was okay, Scott. Well, let's uh, put the five and the ten up. An S and a T. Part of it was okay. The T. Oh. You've landed on a pink square. Get it right now, and it's worth an extra thousand dollars, and put you back in the game. I Part of I, it was okay. I wish I knew a thousand dollars would be nice, but it's a little too early, so I have to go with the S. All right, go with the S. Part of it was okay. Still no guess. Let's have the two and the seven. T. C. Oh, uh, put the other T up. We'll put the other T up. Scott, Scott, you look like you're suffering. Come on. I, uh, the C. The C is a stopper. That's the first stopper. We go over to Diana. Diana, you are playing for the game. Part of it was OK. Uh, it is just not coming to me yet, so I will take the three and the four. E and an M. Let's try the M. Part of it was OK. I'll try the E. Part of it was OK. I need two more letters, the 6 and 11. We'll get you a B and an H. Oh, give me the B. Take the B. Part I of it was OK. Think S Scott I is glimmering. Do you it. have it? All right, I this think is I know it, game. and the H is the uh, stopper, so. Part of it was OK? Tombstone. 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 <laughs> what is Tombstone, Scott? It was the scene of the shootout okay, of the Corral. Okay Corral Tombstone. All right, Scott, you played a good game. We were glad you could be with us. Better luck next About time. Uh, some nice parting gifts from the Thank you. Friends. I had a good Thank time. you very Thank much. Thank you very Scott. much. All right, you, Diana, you cleaned up here. You picked up $500 for winning the game. You picked up $500 for landing in the blue square. That's $1,000. You have just begun. That's when we come back, Scrabble Sprint. We try to beat Craig's time and then a shot at $8,000. All right? We'll be back with Diana and Craig right after this.
Steve Edwards. Thank you, Charlie. We are about to finish up our sprint round now and find out which of these two players will play the bonus sprint for $8,000. Craig, you will remember, established a time of 32.4 seconds. Diana is going to try to beat that time. You know how this uh, works. You'll yeah. play the same four words that Craig played. You were backstage while he was doing it, so you didn't hear the words. You don't know what they are. Yeah. Remember, there are no stoppers. The plunger right there stops the clock. And here we go. To beat 32.4 seconds for a shot at $8,000. First word. Five letters. A wall covering. A wall covering. Ready? Ready. Go. R. M. L. A wall covering. Mural. Mural is correct. Good start. Good start. <laughs> That's just about where Craig is. Second word. Seven letters. The clue. They're often secret. They're often secret. Ready? Ready. Go. S. They're often secret. A. B. L. Ballots. Ballots is correct. 18.1 seconds left. Third word. Eight letters. The clue. A horse of a different color. A horse of a different color. Ready? Ready. Go. N. P. A. A horse of a different color. M. A horse of a different color. Palomino. Palomino. Oh boy. You have 7.8 seconds. I can feel, I can't see him. I can feel Craig behind me starting to clutch. This is it for your chance at $8,000. Nine letters. You pay a price for it. You pay a price for it. Ready? Ready. Go. S. You pay a price for it. M. N. Oh, we're out of time. The word was admission. Nice try, though. Close. Craig, you are in there. You weren't sure, were you? You weren't sure. Craig is our champion. He's already won $1,500. And now when we come back in a moment, he has a shot at $8,000 more. Up for that? Yes. We will be back with it right after this. Thank you very much, guys. It is now time for the bonus sprint. If you're not aware of that, Craig is. He's already won $1,500. Right now, he has the chance to win $8,000 in our bonus sprint round. OK, you know how this works. We're going to put 10 seconds on the clock for you. Your job is to guess the words before the clock hits zero. That's all there is to it. Yeah. And $8,000 is yours. No pressure. Craig, first word. Six letters, the clue. A place in the sun. A place in the sun. Ready? Ready. Go. H. A place in the sun. W. A. A place in the sun. Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. <laughs> 4.4 seconds to win $8,000. Seven letters. The clue. Kids. Count on them. Kids, count on them. Ready? Ready? Go. G. R. Kids, count on them. Fingers! Yeah. Fingers! Yeah. What did we have on the clock? We had, what 
we have nine tenths of a second? <laughs> wow, all right, you won the $8,000. You're a dramatic fellow, you know that? You won the $8,000, that gives you a total of $9,500. And you'll be back tomorrow. You'll have a shot at the sprint tomorrow, perhaps, where we'll set it back to $5,000. You are on a roll, Craig Unit, and we'll see if it continues tomorrow <laughs> on Scrabble. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.